When you're a young man, it seems like you always hear people telling you to go to college, get a degree, and then get a good job. But not everybody is cut out for college, or wants to go, or even wants to get the kind of job where you need a degree. If you're not interested in college, here's 10 ways to find out if a trade school career is for you. Number one, you like working with your hands, such as working with tools, fixing up your car, or maybe you have a hobby building and putting things together. Number two, if you're an outdoorsman and you like being outside and exercising. While some trade careers are in a factory or in a shop, there's lots of jobs where you can work outdoors with your body. Some of them can even be exciting as well as rewarding. Number three, you want a good paying job that doesn't require a college degree. There are a variety of ways that you can become proficient in a trade job. Some require attending a trade school for your certification, but others require an apprenticeship, and some even teach you on the job as you work. Depending on what you want to do and how fast you want to advance, the career path is there for you. Number four, you want to get paid now, not in four years. You can be earning and saving while people in college are still racking up debt. By the time they graduate, if they graduate, even at the best four-year universities, only about 36% of students are expected to graduate within four years and only about 57% within eight years. So by getting out and establishing your career, you'll be far ahead of those who go to college. Number five, you don't want to go into massive debt. The average student loan debt for 2016 college graduates who borrowed to get through school was $37,172. If a 2016 graduate took the standard repayment plan for that $37,000 borrowed 10 years at 4.29% interest, they'd be paying $382 a month for the next decade. Number six, you don't want to work in a boring office or cubicle. Let me say that again. You don't want to work in a boring office or a cubicle. Number seven, you don't like to be bored. You don't want to spend your day sitting in pointless meetings. You still have to do your job, just now you have less time to do it. Take a good look at this photo. These people are bored and fighting to keep from falling asleep. You don't want to do this to yourself. Number eight, you want to get paid to learn. Many trade jobs have paid on-the-job training. For some jobs, you'll earn more as an apprentice than the starting salary at many jobs that require a college degree. Number nine, many trade jobs are expanding. As long as countries are growing, there will be a need for workers who build and maintain the infrastructure and production. If you choose wisely, you can pick a career that offers you steady work and the opportunity to advance and grow. Even if you find that opportunities are drying up in one line of work, your experience and your work history and your reputation will make it easier to transition to another line of work. Number 10. You don't want to worry about having to compete with your coworkers to climb some corporate ladder. You want to be part of a team who gets things done together and a good, smart, hardworking guy who shows up at the job site on time and does his work right and who gets along with his co-workers is worth his weight in gold and he'll always be in demand. If you think some of these attributes described you, then a trade school career might be a great fit. Thanks for watching and remember to click the thumbs up if you like this video and leave a comment below. I'll be making more videos like this one, so if you have a topic you'd like to hear more about, let me know. Thanks.